Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Jessica. And if you are a returning subby, I learned that word this week, um, returning subby, AKA subscriber, thank you for coming back. So today's um, video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm going to teach you guys how I pack and how I figure out what I'm gonna bring on trips outfit wise and then just kind of my system. So this will be more tailored for road trips just in the way I do end up packing and I'll kind of go through that later on. Um, but for the most part, majority of the pre-planning and you know how I lay out my outfits, it's normal for every single one of my trips. So um, yeah, let's get started and hopefully you guys find this useful for next time's trip. <laughs> So first thing is first, here is, whoa, here is my list. This is usually done on my phone, but I feel like it's just easier for me to show you guys um, written out. So I will pretty much write down, you know, all of the shots that I would potentially like to get. Um, obviously, you know, if I don't get to all of them, that's fine, but just because then just an idea um, for the Instagram feed. And then so, you know, I have it broken down to I want to get a photo on the way, um, you know, just like a cute road trip photo, maybe a sunset if we get there in time, um, a sunrise for day two. So this is like the one represents day one and then sunrise for day two, hiking outfit for day two, um, a sunset for day two sunrise for day three but again this is not like absolutely need so if i don't get to any of these maybe i'll just use that outfit and you know i wrote out maybe shoot an outfit i didn't get to and then we are going to do another hike on day three so an outfit for that and then maybe a mis miscellaneous outfit just on like a random stop on the way home on our drive back um so then then i move down to outfit count so it's a lot easier than instead of like, okay, like going through, it's just easier to like make sure I know what I'm bringing. So outfit count, I have two hiking health outfits, two cozy sweat outfits, and then two, maybe three like sunrise sunset outfits. Then moving to the other side, I start thinking of like, okay, so did I buy anything for this trip or did uh, like any companies send me something that I could possibly just shoot while I'm there? And so I wrote down a bunch of um, companies or stores that I bought stuff from that I want to shoot. And then from there, I'll kind of just pull any new stuff um, and, you know, put that into the pile of my outfits, or I'll obviously pull old things, which usually I do a lot of. So then we get to the bottom part, which is now I start planning my outfits, pulling from um, articles of clothing over here. So I know I have like a cool sweat set from Princess Polly that I want to shoot on, um, on the way there. So it could be kind of like that on the side of the road photo and then I got some stuff at Zara that I would like to shoot um, potentially for sunrise or sunset. Same thing from Free People in H&M. And then I got an outfit from Revolve that I want to wear hiking. And then um, again, um, my miscellaneous in case we get there, maybe, maybe not. And that's from ASOS and Glasses. So that's pretty much how I plan out my outfits. And then now I'll go and I'll start pulling stuff from my closet. Another tip for packing is, um, you know, trying to decide what to bring. So a lot of times what I like to do is pre-planning. I will start uh, Instagram searching places I want to go, whether it's, well, I guess this one, it's kind of different because it's just outdoors and hikes. But if you're doing a trip, um, you know, restaurants, cafes, um, you know, monuments, I don't know, activities. And then I will go and creep on the photos that people have geotagged from there, kind of see what they're wearing. And then also, you know, just kind of try to match my outfit to the vibe of that. And then another thing that you definitely want to keep in mind when you pack is always check the weather. And when I'm saying check the weather, check it out um like three weeks in advance two weeks in advance one week in advance 
Um, and I know your phone only gives you 10 days in advance. So I just literally Google if I'm going to London um, in November, I would say weather in London in November. And it will kind of give you a snapshot. It takes you to like weather.com and based off of previous years and currently what's going on, it'll kind of give you like a preview and snapshot of potential weather. So that's also a really good way to start pre-planning your outfits just because you don't want to show up and it's like raining and snowing and all you packed were some gym shorts and a hoodie or something. So always, always check weather. Um, and then I also too, if you're unsure of the area and then if it's kind of later on in the year, obviously depending where you go, like Australia, it's obviously colder or uh, warmer um, during our winter months. Um, but always just kind of like pack a lighter jacket that's very neutral. I'm someone who always gets really cold really, really easily wherever I am. It doesn't even matter. And I also, if a vent, air vent is like blowing on me, I get sick like right away. It's super annoying. So always just pack kind of like a neutral light jacket and bring it with you um, just in case there is a shift in weather. But if you are really sure about where you're going, you're not going to have to worry about that. But it's always just it's better safe than sorry. Or you can just buy one there too. That also works. But why spend money and then have to carry it back with you when you didn't plan on, you know, packing it originally. So that's my trip and my tip. So that's my tip for my trip. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what else really. For me, when I know I have a trip coming up, I start planning my outfits probably three weeks in advance actually. It's really good just because if you are buying things online, um, you gotta you know account for shipping and most companies right now with COVID, I think they're still shipping at a pretty normal rate. Zara can sometimes get delayed. I've had a couple of Zara packages get lost and H&M is actually a total nightmare. Um, the last two online orders that I've ordered placed in H&M, one of them came almost two months later. And then my most recent one was delayed about a week and a half. So it was total about three weeks before it came, which I mean, I wanted stuff for Palm Springs last week and it obviously just came in like yesterday. So um, if you want to shop at H&M, I would suggest going in store or really just pre-plan your shipping like, I don't know, maybe a month in advance because you just don't know what you're gonna get. Um, so that's my only other tip in terms of shopping. And I think that is it. Alrighty, so here we are. We have pretty much laid everything out. And this way I can kind of just see, you know, the colors, potential shoe pairings, and then just have everything separated. And now comes the part where it's road trip versus packing in suitcases. If I am going on a road trip, um, because everything is just, it's really easy to move things um, off of hangers, any items that get wrinkled super easily, I'll actually just hang it up on a hanger and then just hang it on like, you know, the hanger, what is that even called? Hanger hooks in the car? I don't know. Um, so I'll do that for items that, again, like I said, get wrinkled super easily or are just delicates um, because where we are going, there are no outlets because we're camping. So that actually works out perfect. However, if you are flying, you know, obviously you would pack everything. You could do a garment bag if you really want to, but I just hate holding stuff. So obviously then you would just bring in like a little portable steamer so you can steam all your clothes when you get to the hotel, etc., whatever. But for road trips, you know, if I don't have to pack them and it, you know, it's just a lot easier to pull from the hanger when you want to shoot the outfit. Um, so yeah, I just keep them on the hangers and that's my little, that's actually the only really big difference, but it is really helpful and really easy. I, a huge pet peeve of mine is really wrinkled clothing, so that definitely helps me. 
just kind of a sample um, these are things that I brought to Palm Springs last week but I would just literally hang out the entire outfit if I have like socks or whatever I would keep them to the side but if it's like a little bralette or any random things I would just like hook onto here uh, that way everything stays together even my jewelry sometimes if I really really want to but I don't think it's like that serious in this case so yeah I would just Take the hanger, hang it on the car, and voila, super easy, keeps things recoil free, and really just convenient for me to pull and shoot. Out of all the outfits, say like these ones, um, this one, maybe this one I'm not sure, and this one, these don't get wrinkled easily, so I would pack these, and then each outfit or two would fit in its own packing, packing cube. So these are just some samples of packing cubes. I have much larger ones. I just don't really know where they are. But um, depending on the size of the packing cube, this one obviously would only fit one outfit. So I'll keep everything for that outfit in here. That's what That way it's really easy for me to just pull when I'm unpacking and like make sure that I remember all of the pieces of that outfit. Um, instead of like having everything all over the place and forgetting maybe an accessory or what shoes I'm wearing um, or hats, whatever. So here's another one. And then I also got this one. This one's really good for intimates just because I actually kind of lose those a lot because they're just flying everywhere when I'm packing and unpacking. So they have a wash me compartment for obviously when it's dirty and then a clean compartment um, up here and it's wear me. So this is also really good for intimates and it's really flat so it just keeps everything together. And then it doesn't get like, you know, all your other clothes dirty if they're like, around them or rubbing on them or you know you know what I mean as you can see here I have one outfit already packed in the cube it just makes everything so easy when you rip out or open your luggage you don't have clothes flying everywhere everything is separated and then if you want to put things into drawers you don't even have to take it out of this bag just put these inside the drawers of your hotel room or wherever you're staying and it just keeps everything really organized and like wearing outfits and pairing outfits is so easy because you know exactly what you're gonna wear where it is and you don't have to go digging through your luggage trying to figure out like where all your parts are so yeah it's really easy for me as long as you give yourself time in the beginning um don't wait last minute just because if you are really like anal about getting really cute outfit shots um while you're traveling it's not it's just something that you don't want to put off to the last minute unless you're a really good packer and it's like easy for you but if you're always on the struggle bus um yeah just do your research instagram the locations instagram your activities kind of see like the vibe and then start your shopping process from there and yeah you will be pretty much built for success so um, and one last tip too is that sometimes you know we have this like grand idea in our head like okay when we get there I need this shot and it has to look like this and the outfit has to be this a lot of the times things just life happens and like it's not you know it doesn't plan out according to how it is in your head don't stress out don't get mad um I used to be that way where I was like so stuck on an idea and it's like it had to be that way but like after traveling to so many spots and just working around people's schedules or weather or whatever if there's a ton of people in a location sometimes you just got to work around it so always like have an idea but don't be fixated on that idea just in case it doesn't happen then you save yourself a lot of just bad energy ruining your vacation just like wasting hours of your trip like being mopey you know just be like okay that's fine like let's get an option too so uh, sometimes I will just look at the different locations that people take photos of at the spot. So if it's like a hiking trail of everyone's always shooting in one place, chances are it's going to be busy. So then kind of look down at the feed, continue scrolling to see maybe one or two other locations at the same spot that still look really cool that you may want to photograph and use as a backup. Um, again, just always have like a plan B um because like i said you don't know what's gonna happen and you just don't it's not worth ruining your trip over so yeah i hope you guys 
find all these tips super helpful really really short video just wanted to make it very you know straight to the point um and yeah so can't wait to go to zion and we are leaving tomorrow and yeah we'll come back and hopefully i'll have the full vlog um for our trip up by the end of the week okay thanks guys Mwah.